Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to my house. I know, really weird. Apologies if there's a big echo, I can actually hear it as I'm talking. I will do my best to remove that in post. I'm in my kitchen, you might be able to see, there's not a lot in here. It's getting there now, don't get me wrong, my living room looks a lot cozier than this, but the kitchen, for the most part, is bare. I have a table here, right, that I used to have when I was about 20 and I rented in a flat. I had my own table and it's still, still here. It's been up at my parents' house, they brought it here so I can have a table. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have a table in here. So I have that. I have this big boy here, which I've just put a story on Instagram this morning. He's so big, right? I don't know where I'm going to put him. I think what needs to happen is he might have to go to the shop again to live there for a little bit while I get some kind of shelf to go back here or on the back wall or something like that. We will be battling with the sun today. I have skylights above me and I have no blinds or anything. So so that's going to be fun. So why are we in my house, you ask? Well, the first reason is I pulled my back last week when I was doing rescue boxes and that's why there was no video on Friday. This is basically to make up for that. The second reason why we're in my house is because we're repotting some of the house plants that I bought. I own more house plants than what you see here. They're actually behind these plants in the corner and you'll see them the second I pull them away. But all I'm going to do, super, super simple, nothing difficult. I'm going to put them in these decidedly dirty pots with the outer pots and I'm hoping with the size of them they might just go straight in there so that's what we're going to do today and hopefully the weather is on my side so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one up and I'll put this one on the floor these are both cast iron plants basically I can't remember where I got them from there are tags in here but they're not shop tags they're like grower tags so I can't even tell you where I've got them from. And I tell you something, this is incredibly irritating. But since I've got these, I do have the odd gnat in my house. And that infuriates me because obviously I can't use the same pest control that I could use at the unit. I just have to deal with them separately. And it annoys me because I haven't done anything that would give me that. It's just... It is what happens. What I might do at a later date is I'm going to pot these up again and maybe use a lot more pond on the surface so that we can't really get gnats as easy because a lot of it will be the soil. I'm gonna put him back here. You may see bits and pieces of cat stuff down here because my cats are coming and we will talk about them because a few people have asked me about them. There's some like really old ass pawn in the bottom but I'm actually gonna keep it there. I do have a little bit of orchid bark and I'm debating using it, I don't know. I've had this about two years. I had it from my old place and I just haven't used it. So there's some orchid bark there that I could use, at least in the bottom, or just to add some more drainage to it. I don't know, these seem to be living quite nicely. I always think if it ain't broke, don't fix it for the most part. But we do have some orchid bark and I do have a brick of coir, but I don't think I'm going to need it. If anything, I can just flesh out what's there. I'm hoping this is the right size. This one has a little bit of pond in the bottom, so I'm probably not going to do anything. I'll just use that as sort of a bit of a drainage base, I guess you could say. So, my questions are written on the floor. I've had to do things so differently. This is so weird to me, I can't even tell you. This is so weird. We'll start with the first question. It's not really one that I would start with, but I'm gonna start with it anyway. A few people have been asking me what's going on with like a gaming channel, or am I gonna be playing games? Am I gonna be streaming? Because I know I mentioned it, and I did. So my, my office is getting set up at the moment. I will link below. There's a gnat, there's a gnat. I'm gonna link my Twitch channel that I've made that I'm going to be playing games on. And if you'd like to follow it, just click follow. And then that, that kind of does a lot of the work for me because at some point I'm going to do a test stream, maybe in the next week or so. I might not have my camera on, but I'm just going to see how my internet deals with streaming and how my processor deals with streaming because it worked years ago. I just want to make sure it works now, if you feel me. So if you'd like to follow that down below, then please feel free. And I don't really know what I'll play. I haven't got a clue. I will literally just be testing to see if everything works, if everything's set up, all the rest. That's all it's for. So at a later date, obviously I'll probably add a camera and, and everything else and do exactly what you'd expect me to do, but not straight away. But let's just get some practice in, shall we? Because I can't even remember the last time I played a game that wasn't very recently on PS5. It's a long time since I played a PC game, so that'll be fun. Probably need a new keyboard as well because my keyboard's really noisy. So that hopefully answers your question. It will probably be soon-ish, but oh, that is, oh, okay. 
That is really tight. That is really tight. It'll probably be soon-ish, but I can't tell you exactly when that will be. Yes, this is a tiny little trowel. It's come out of, right? It's come out of a, what did I buy? Little moss poles and they're about that big. I think you've seen them on my channel and what you can do is you can slot one in on top. And it was just this, this terrible little thing off Amazon. I'll link it if I can find it. But it's just literally, a little trowel came with it. I don't know if anything else came with it, but it's just cute as thing. But it's actually quite useful for mixing things so you don't have to get spoons out. So I brought it. And to be honest, I'm probably gonna have to go around here and wedge this because it's actually genuinely wedged in. And that now makes me nervous because it is about the same size but you lose a bit in these pots, right? Because of this water reservoir here, you lose it. So I'm a little bit apprehensive, but we'll see. So yes, gaming channel, that's the tea. That's what's going on. It's getting really sunny. I'm really sorry. So yeah, if you want to follow that, please do. I probably haven't got channel art or anything like that yet. It'll come, I'll sort it all out. I've got a lot to sort at the moment because my feed is coming, guys. My feed is coming. So, oh, that's just fallen out. That was another question that I got from literally everybody. What's happening with the feed? What's going on? So my packaging, the pouch that it comes in has been manufactured and I think they've been delivered yesterday. I have not been over to check, but apparently they have arrived. So I haven't even seen it. I've seen a prototype of my packaging, but it wasn't in the right finish. It was just sort of a, a, a knock up. So I have seen it, but I haven't seen it, seen it, if you know what I mean. So I'm unbelievably excited to see that. What will then happen, I will probably keep one or two of those pouches back so I can use them for promotional shots, basically, so I can actually photograph my product. The rest will be sent over to the packing company and the feed will now be manufactured because the fun thing about fertilizer, guys, is that the thing that takes a long time is actually manufacturing the packaging, the labels, going through all kinds of regulations, making sure everything's as it should be. That takes all the time. In terms of actually making the feed, the formula has been finalized for ages. It only takes a few days, I think, to actually make the feed and put it into huge, huge vats. So that won't take long at all. That, that'll actually be the last thing that needs to happen because we know the formula just has to be made up in a nice big batch. So that is what's going to happen. So the feed will then be sent to the packaging people, the people that will fill the feed into the receptacles, shall we say, and then it will be sent off to probably the distribution center. I don't think I'll be keeping any of it. Generally speaking, when I order the feed, if I'm gonna use it in the shop, I wouldn't order it in my packaging, right? That's just a waste. I would just order a large amount in a container and use it that way. But that's what's going to be happening. Oh, I don't wanna cut that root. That's not good, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. I might have to cut it, you know. But yeah, that's what's gonna be happening. I don't know how long we're actually gonna be. We might be a month out. We might be a little bit more, but we are not far out, guys. We are not far out at all. I'm so excited. I absolutely love this feed. I've even used it on, I've actually used it on a, why do I keep wanting to call it a strelitzia? A spathophyllum in here, and it's actually flowered. I just gave it a bit of my feed and it's made it flower. So I'll just show you it. There she is. This one here, literally flowering, which is kind of cool because the ones at the shop have not had my feed. And I realize it is in different conditions as well. Don't get me wrong. Um, but that just literally had one amount of the feed and just went poof and just flowered. So it's very good for your anthuriums, especially if you're looking to uh, breed, shall we say. So yes, I'm so, so excited. I, oh, I can't even tell you guys. I can't even tell you. I'm so excited for this. Right, how am I actually gonna get this out? I feel like if I just keep putting this in, I'm actually going to just hurt the plant, but at the same time, I don't necessarily wanna just pull it. See, here's me thinking this is gonna be very quick. I don't think it is. This is wedged in. There's no harm if I cut it, but I just don't want to cut it because it's a perfectly good pot, do you know what I mean? Let's just see if I can, oh wait. Oh, come on, very, very gently do this. So yeah, that's basically what's happening with my feed. I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited. Honestly, I'm just, oh, it's gonna be so good. So good. When I do it, it will have a launch video, everything you'd expect to hear about it. Very much in the same way as when I launched my shop, there was a launch video. It'll be the same as that. So any questions you've got, I'll be able to tell you essentially like how it works, the kind of things that are in it. 
um, what it's best for, because I am testing it on things that are outside of what I would usually use it for, for example, the spathophyllum, stuff like that. I do have the experiment I was doing a while ago that I may have showed bits of. I know I've showed a bit on Instagram. I have that. I'll take you through that as well because I took pictures of everything because I knew people would have shit to say about it. Okay, I knew people would have shit to say about it. So what I did was I took the three samples and I photographed them bare root before and after as well as in the pots. So I literally, I had nowhere to hide. So I've got all of those photographs as well. And there were very interesting results, literally. Some have done better than others. It is what it is. That's what the nature of an experiment. Um, and no doubt, as we all know, I will have people come at me telling me that I didn't do the experiment properly when I don't see any other company even doing any kind of experiment. So I'll, uh, I'll wait for the launch before people start having a go at me because we all know that that's coming and that's fine. Just wanna let you know now, I'm prepared for it. So do not worry guys, do not worry. No one's going to shit on my parade. So the thing we've got here, this is, this is I don't know how much of a problem this is, right? Just to interrupt what I'm saying. But one, my kitchen is gonna have soil over it. That's very unfortunate. Two, the roots are now at the edge of the pot, which I don't like, which really should probably mean they should go up a size in the pot. But I'm actually not gonna do that, guys. I'm really not gonna do that. Not yet, anyway. We can repot these at a later date, even if it's like two, three months, that's fine. But these are the only pots I've got at the minute. And I really need to be at the point where these plants are self-watering. I just, I just need it to happen. So unfortunately, don't know if you can see, yeah, there's, there's actually not a lot of substrate here at all. So I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna put a tiny bit in the bottom here, just over the, over the bits of pond. And I realize, no, you can't see, but that's just, it's just what we're working with. And I'm going to try and just pop it in. And I, I do not like this at all because it, it actually is going to be wedged. Like there's no, do you see what I'm saying? I don't wanna start breaking this apart because it will just be hell on earth. It will be hell on earth. But that is solid. God, I can sort of elongate it a bit, but it's not ideal this at all, is it? Oh, I've got stuff everywhere. Let me just see. I realize you can't see me right now, but it's not about me, is it? You know what? We might just get some damage doing this, but <laughs> this is not what I hoped for. I won't lie. This is not what I hoped for. Do not do this for your plants, guys. I am not advocating this behavior whatsoever, but I'm literally having to shove this. And I mean shove this. It's not good. I don't like the pressure. It's putting on my back either. But that's kind of what I'm gonna have to do. Oh Lord, this is not ideal. This is not ideal at all. I can't really push it anymore. Yeah, this, this is temporary as fuck. <laughs> Literally temporary as fuck. I'm just not supposed to be downsizing the pot. I thought it would be the same size, but I also didn't think that the, the plant was like super wedged to the point where it was contorting the plant pot. I didn't notice. I didn't look. Will the other one be the same? Don't know. Let's hope it isn't. Let's hope it's just one that's uber squished because this, this is not, not how you repot a plant. Basically, if you're potting a plant up into a plant that's theoretically smaller, maybe just don't, maybe just don't. Like for example, look at the substrate I've lost. That was in the other pot. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, don't do that. I'll get something larger soon. So you might see me unpotting these yet again and putting them in something larger because this is a bit much. I think the size up I've got is like too far up though. That's the problem. So yeah, now at least I know like what the situation was with the roots here. Like I know that they're touching the pot, not ideal. And we'll just see how it goes. And I just think, <laughs> it's literally got to lean on. I just think that we will have to repot this very soon. Oh, there's a nice big gap there. They can go down there in the gap, can't it? Um, let's talk about the kittens, shall we? Should we talk about the kittens? Can you see I've got stuff over here? No, because this... Uh, this is probably blocking it, but I have a few things for the cats. Oh my goodness. So I've got some things for the cats. The only thing I've got left to stress about is food. So, one moment guys, because actually in here, so I want to feed them both really good food, okay? And I know that raw, raw food is the best thing to feed them. I know this, okay, I know this. But I can't necessarily afford it right now. What I can afford to do is put them on something really nice um, for like one meal a day of wet food and then the other meal of wet food, they'll have something a bit more affordable. And when I have some more cash coming in, 
I can basically upgrade them to just that food double time. But I think I bought them some food at the minute. I've got Sheba food. That's what we're on in the UK anyway. It seemed better than a lot of the supermarket foods. And I know food is a minefield. You do not have to tell me. Trust me, I've been researching this a lot. I got some of these from Applause, which are apparently a really good brand because I think everyone just raves about them and they'd be really cute little treats. So I've got those as well. I have some kitten biscuits, but I'm not going to rely on them. They'll just have like one portion, a very small portion during the day because dry food is not the best for your cat. I have other things. I have a box of toys. I have grooming brushes. I have nail clippers. I have my cat litter, which is down there. Then I have cat tree. I've got one in the living room and it's lovely. If you've seen it on Instagram, it's a really big fat one. It's from a company called, is it RH, RHR Quality? They do cat trees, if anybody's interested. They do cat trees for like Maine Coon type cats, so like big cats, and they are really sturdy. So I bought one for the living room so they have somewhere to chill. But in here, that's just a really cheap one from Amazon. I don't know if I can rotate this temporarily so you can see it. Maybe you can see it, don't know. But it's there anyway. And then a couple of different types of beds, different types of scratches, just to figure out what they like. Um, there's a blanket in here with my scent on it as well. Uh, so I'm just sort of waiting. And they will actually live in here for, basically the, I don't know how long they're gonna live in here for, okay? I don't know how long. It just kind of depends on how they do and how they react. So if they do really well and you know they eat, sleep, poop, Everything's going fine. They seem really confident. They don't have any issues with me because I'm going to be in here a lot. Sorry, I know it's really sunny. Then I will open the door to the kitchen and let them roam a little bit more. So we will just play it by ear. I am going to film the whole thing. I'm going to film the whole thing. I get them on the 22nd. So a couple of weeks, you could say. I'm going to film the whole ass thing, guys. So you'll get a kitty video on my channel. If you don't like cats, I am very sorry, but who does not like cats? So hopefully y'all can appreciate my wonderful new babies and all will come good. What do I need here? Let's just get this out. I'm literally gonna have to clean my kitchen after this and I spent all yesterday cleaning it. We're still really sunny, aren't we? Two seconds. Let's have a look at y'all. So yes, I get them then and I get them then and I really can't wait. I really, really, really can't wait. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so good. Um, and I will, as I say, I'll film the entire thing. So you will meet them. You do not know their names yet. One person guessed right on Instagram. It was crazy. Maybe, maybe I just gave bad clothes. I don't know. Maybe I gave bad clothes. But they will be coming very, very soon. And I am beyond excited. Now, I'm not really giving you a kitten update, but a lot of people have asked me about the kittens. Hey, let's put this somewhere cool. How's that? That's kind of cool, right? Sort of. I don't know. It's got a lean on, by the way. Like literally, I, I don't really know why it's got to lean on. Can I just gently make it lean back? I think it always had a lean on this one though. This one was on the floor in my living room. I took a photo of it yesterday and it, it looked like it had a lean on anyway. So I suspect that's just the plant, but why doesn't this sit properly? This doesn't even sit straight, why? Why, 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 why? Yeah, all right, that, that's moderately better. It's not perfect. It'll be fine. I have every confidence. This sun really needs to stop. It really needs to stop. It's gonna be absolutely blown out. Anyway, so where was I? Here's to genuinely hoping that the other plant is just not gonna be quite as bound as this one. Oh, I didn't mention what I have down here. How rude of me, how rude of me. So I don't know how much you get to see. Can you see all this? Yeah, I don't know. So I have a Kentia here. I have a Calathea orbifolia here. The, the new leaves have not come out the best. You will see it at some point because I will be repotting it. Some of the new leaves have a bit of crisp on the outside, but I think it's just acclimation when the leaf was delicate because the, the leaves that I already have obviously look fine. So I think it's just a, uh, what do you call it? A shipping thing or something like that because the rest of the leaves are fine so far. We are sat at 51% humidity in here. I am so proud. That is so much better than 45. Trust me, guys, it is. You can keep nearly anything in 50. And then we have the two stromanthi down here. Now, the only thing I'll say about the stromanthi is I don't feel like it goes with the house. It just doesn't. I feel like all green goes with the house a little bit better. Like, he looks great. He's awesome. I don't mind green with some 
you know, colors within the green. But in terms of the pink, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. So they're here for now, um, but we will see. They might just get swapped out for more like green things. I can't really put anything upstairs. There's not really any room, if I'm honest, unless it's for like a tiny plant in the bathroom or something. So I'll see how I go with them. I do want shelves, so mm, obviously they wouldn't go on a shelf. That's not what I mean. But I will be able to drag the green from the corner of the room up um, because look at all this space. Look at all this space on this back wall. Imagine what I could do. So we'll see anyway. Right, I'm going to need... I think I'm going to need some scissors. So yeah, the kitten thing. People asked me... What do you ask me? One was why you're getting a cat and one was why that breed. So I'll start off with why that breed. If you do not know... The, the kittens that I'm getting are British short hair kittens. They're gorgeous. I'll put some pictures up because they're just stunning. They're just gorgeous. They are brothers from the same litter. I know the breeder reasonably well. They're, they're a friend in real life, so I, I know about them. I know more about where they've come from, how they're raised and everything like that. When I get them, they will be microchipped, double vaccinated. I think they have six weeks of insurance with them. Um, I think they come with like a little pack. I've got to sign some contracts, blah, 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 because they're two boys, but they will be neutered. I'm not going to have them unneutered. So I'll probably keep them for a month because I get them at 12 weeks. And once they're settled in and they're, you know, they're here and stuff, I'll get them neutered. I think obviously I'm going to ring my vet before that, um, and make sure that's the right time and get them checked out and stuff like that. But they'll become to me very, very healthy, litter trained, pretty sure they're litter trained by this point and all will be well. So why British short hair? Well, I've had two cats in my lifetime. My first ever cat was a Persian, a doll-faced Persian. She was also grey. What is it with me and greys, eh? Um, she was grey. She was beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, I had her. She lived a long time. We fed her really well and we took care of her. Then they lived eight to ten years, but mine was about twelve. She did really well. Um, so I've had her, so I've had experience with more pedigree breeds. And then my second cat is, I don't know what you'd call him. We would, we would joke on in, in the UK and say a Heinz 57 cat. So it's just black and white cat, literally. Um, and I, I've had him a long time. He does not live here. He lives with my parents and I did ask to move him here, but my parents quite rightly said no because long story short, but they live like way out in the country. There's no danger of cars. There's just no danger of anything. It's, you know, he's got a better life there. That's his home. He's quite old now. It, it's not fair. It's not fair to move him. So I went with the British Shorthair breed because I've read so much about them being good for beginners. They're quite laid back. You do have to watch their weight, but I'm honestly with horses, I'm no stranger to that. If you just buy a native horse in the UK, you've got to do the same thing. So that's not really a problem for me, but they're just known for being very, very laid back and chill. They're not like Bengal cats. They're not like all up in your grill or anything. They're just chill. Obviously, yes, there's exceptions to the rule, but they're chill. Um, these two in particular from the litter are very, I want to say cuddly, really cuddly, really affectionate, really lazy, really chunky. So they're just, oh, they're just amazing. Um, I have met them, obviously. I've only met them once. I met them as soon as I came off holiday and I just had to have them. I wasn't going to get two cats, by the way. I basically did my research uh, while I was on holiday and I kept toying with one cat or two, one cat or two, one cat or two. And I decided on two because I just think it's better for the cat. I think it's actually, guys, quite a myth that cats are aloof and like to be alone. Two cats are better than one. It's the same thing as anything. So I knew that I wanted these two boys. I did at one point very briefly for like an afternoon, I toyed with the idea of getting a lilac and a blue British short hair because the blues are just stunning. They are so beautiful. But honestly, as soon as I spoke to the breeder about the two boys, they're kind of inseparable. They're together all the time. They're cuddling all the time. There is no way in hell I'm going to separate them. So when I told her that I wanted both of them, and I was happy to take both. She was like, oh my God, I could cry. I, I actually can't believe they're going to be together because like I've seen how they are with each other and they love each other so much. So I'm going to get two beautiful baby brothers and I can't wait. Like I say, you'll get a full video on them. But yeah, the breed generally is just known for being laid back. Good for, you know, beginner cat owners and everything else. They're not too... <sighs> Energetic, you, you could say they've got quite low energy levels. They're quite big though. I will say that. I think the max end for a male British shorthair is probably seven kilograms. 
That's decent. That is decent. They get little fat, chunky faces. Oh, God. Oh, I can't wait. But yeah, so why am I getting cats? Well, it's going to sound really sad. And it's not meant to, guys. It's honestly not meant to. But I, I feel like I need some company in here. I am by myself. I'm single. I don't, I don't have many friends here. I'm just going to come out and say it. I have like one or two. Okay. It's just, it is what it is. Um, and I, I just feel like I could really do with the mental company and the mental enrichment. Like, I'm fine, don't get me wrong, but it would just be nice to just cuddle up. Do you know what I mean? On an evening and things like that. And I, I don't mean that to sound super depressing because I realize it probably does, but I just really, really want some companionship at home. It would be really, really nice. So that's kind of the reason why I've got them because I think that's the reason everybody gets cats though, right? It's for the company. I, I'm saying it, saying, oh, it sounds depressing. That's a valid reason to get a cat. Is there any other reason to get a cat if not for company? I don't know. Answers on a postcard. But that basically is why I would like one. Um, I just think the company... Oh, my back, my back. So I really want... There's a few like bits of shit in the bottom of here and I really want it to go in the bottom of here. But I just really want the company. I think the company will be absolutely just wonderful. So that is my driving force, you could say, for having them. And I just can't wait. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. I've had cats before. I know what I'm doing. It's more the destruction aspect because I know they're not destructive in nature, but they are still kittens. You feel me? They're 12 week old kittens. And this bitch, this bitch, do you know what this bitch did? She went and bought rattan furniture or rattan, I think you say in America. And I didn't know I was having cats when I did this. I'd put a picture on Instagram recently of just like a little corner in my living room. And everyone was like, say goodbye to your furniture. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. And I've never bought that kind of furniture before. And I don't know what possessed me to do it. It's like some really weird twisted fate. Do you know what I mean? Because now I have to deal with the fact that to be quite honest with you, it's probably going to get ruined. So yeah, for those that are thinking, well, well done, Bright Spark. I didn't know I was going to get cats. Otherwise, of course, I would have bought something totally different, to be honest. But uh, it is what it is. It's furniture. It'll be fine. I'll have to just remove the panels or something if they completely and utterly destroy them. I have a cover on the couch. It's the best I could do. Got a cover from Amazon. I am going to put something over the rattan or rattan. I'm going to put like a clear plastic over them and hopefully just when they touch it, it they're not going to think that they can scratch it. If they get through that, yeah, it's game over. I get that. And I'll just have to literally remove the panels and it, there will be a chair with just a black frame, which should probably still look fine. I guess it is what it is, but we'll see how we go with that. Fingers crossed. I will say that. Where's that other pot? What did I do with that other pot? Oh no, that is the other pot. <sighs> have I literally just done that? That's so embarrassing. I thought, where's the pot from the second one? I've got one in there. Where is the pot from the second one? But yeah, that is a little bit about them. And that is a little bit about why I've chosen them. Again, you will get an absolute full video when I do get them and it's going to be amazing. I will probably film them over a week. And I might even edit it as I film it, to be honest, because I'm literally going to basically live in here. I'm going to do all my work here. They will just be chilling. They will have free roam of this room. All the plants are pet safe, so that's fine. If they do anything, I'm in here to see it. I get a sense of who they are, how they like to be, everything else. All of my worktops, there's nothing harmful on them. Even my hob, my hob couldn't possibly turn on. Like, they can't really do anything. There's no weird gaps or anything. I've got these beautiful patio doors that you can't see that are here. They can see out. There's a window ledge there. The door out of the kitchen is glass paneled so they can see out of the kitchen, which I actually think is quite nice. So they can sort of understand that there's stuff out there before they go. And I'll know when they're curious. I think we're good. I think we're well prepared. Generally, I don't think there's anything more that I need. I've got a water fountain over there, literally just a bit of plastic over it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, just waiting for them as well. So yeah. The water is over there, the litter tray is over here, and the food is over there. I've kept them all separate. We're ready. We're ready, guys. I don't think there's much else I need to get, so I'm so excited. But yeah, that is the kitties. Uh, we've got a couple of things. A few people asked me, are you 
are you riding? What's what's going on there? Uh, some people ask me why I'm in horse gear all the time. I am riding. I have found... Well, I, actually, I was with one instructor. I call... Uh, she's not really an instructor. She's more of a performance coach. I think she would call herself that. I was with her for a while. I've maybe temporarily, maybe permanently switched to, funny enough, the same person that is selling me the cats because I said she's a friend in, in real life. Friend in life? She's a friend in life. She's a friend in real life. Um, so she has offered to school me as well because I think because she knows me a little bit more, she can sort of... She can just sort of see where I'm going wrong and she can see how I'm riding and, and what would need to be changed or improved. So she's got a really good sense just from literally seeing me how we can work better. So that's something I'm going to be doing. Um, I was supposed to be doing it this week, but guess what? I pulled my back. So I haven't been doing that. Um, but that is why you're seeing me in horse gear all the time. Yes, I am riding. <laughs> I'm riding. I ride a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very happy. Anyway, so yeah. And I really need some new riding gear because I've been in the same riding gear, right? All, literally all of winter. And I mean, when I say the same gear, I mean the same top, the same underlayer, the same jodhpurs. I need some new stuff. I'm literally waiting for the weather to get better. But this like sun rain shit, this can stop. This is no good. It's literally about rain down sun on me. Rain down sun on me? Literally. Oh, I need something for these skylights because this that we're doing now, this thing we're doing, this can't keep happening. I'm going to be blind and you are just not going to see anything. So I will sort it. I I think that blinds for the skylights are probably going to be quite expensive because they'll have to be custom. So we'll put it on the list, shall we? We'll put it on the list. But yeah, that's that. I would like to see a lot more horse shows this year, for sure. I saw a few last year. I want to see some more this year, especially some local shows as well. Really want to do that. Um... There's something on in Scotland. Is it Edinburgh? Or is it somewhere else in Scotland? I can't remember. I'll have to check my calendar. There's something on. I think it is Edinburgh, you know. I could be wrong. Same problem, literally. This came out really easy, though. So this is probably going to go in better. There's something on in Scotland, I think, at some point. I can't remember when it is. I don't know when it is. I don't know when it is. But there's something that I would quite like to attend. So we will see about that. It would be very, very nice to go. Um, I would love to go back to Hoy's because if anyone remembers, I, I missed it due to financial reasons because I was litigating over Ogs. Little Oggle. So I, I couldn't go and I haven't gone in a couple of years and I, I really want to go. I really want to go. Really, really, really want to go. Because it happens at the same time every year as my birthday and I would absolutely love if I could go again for my birthday. Um, so with a bit of luck this time I might actually be able to go. So yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> right, hang on. Let me try and get this in here. Which way is this orientated? I can't really push that there, but I might be able to push it from this side. Let's swizzle it. I have got the same problem here, ultimately, guys. This is too small. Do not do this. I realize I'm supposed to be a plant person that knows better, but I do not know better right now. Oh my God, this one won't even go in. How is this one bigger? I don't want to separate them, guys. I just don't. I don't have the space yet. Sorry, I need to abandon everything I'm saying because I need to concentrate. Look at the state. Come on. Okay, now I've contorted this. I can see this is actually contorted now. Can I get it back out? Probably can't now. I've literally stretched it. You probably can't see this. It's gone oval. I probably can never pull this back out without seriously injuring these plants. Oh, this isn't good, guys. Just did a bad thing. What was that song on TikTok? It was in like 2020. It was like, just did a bad thing. I regret the thing I did. There we go. Right. Yeah, I've killed some root. Yeah, that was going to happen. This is, this is horrific. Right. I'm just trying to find a way of just a place where it will give in order to, to sort of accommodate this part of the plant. Sorry, guys. Again, sun. The aperture on this camera's turned right down. We're on about seven. We're on about seven, right? I like to film in 2.8. Now, I know anyone that doesn't know about cameras is just going to be like, what are you talking about? People that do know about cameras, literally, we're at seven. 
and this is just beyond a joke. So I just have to do my best. This is this is soul destroying, and I, I understand this might give you a bit of anxiety. It's not doing wonders for me, to be quite honest. Right, this feels like it's going in a little bit better. Oh my god, see, look, how am I gonna get rid of that? Oh, <gasps> so bad. I didn't think this would be the case, guys. Honestly, if I knew it was gonna be this uh this close. I would have just waited until I had bigger pots. So I, I genuinely apologize for any anxiety created by this because it's not good. Oh God, I've got loads of roots that are just coming out the top. Right, next question, moving on from the horse stuff. There's someone that asked me um, things to know before buying a house or things, you know, I, I don't know if it's things you wish you knew, but I think it was just things to know. I don't know where to start with that, and I'm happy to do a video on that on my second channel, just generally talking about it. Nothing like high production, obviously. It'll literally be me sat in a chair talking about it. If anybody's interested. Now, I don't know if what I've been through applies to anyone even outside of the UK, so I don't know how useful my advice is. Oh my, are you serious? Literally. <sighs> okay, how bad are we? We are bad, we are bad. 11. 11. Any better? If this isn't any better, I can't help you. I actually can't help you anymore, guys. It's a lost cause. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I don't know if it applies to anyone outside of the UK or not. More than happy to still make the video and you can sort of decide for yourself and I can just say, hey, this is how it worked for me. Another thing is, I don't know if it even applies to people that aren't getting a new build because any weird nuances I've had, I, I can't even tell you if it's normal or not because it's my first house. I can tell you a little bit about the process and stuff like that in a video, but I can't really tell you much. I think a lot of it, like when you move in and, you know, they try and sell you stuff, like your floors and stuff like that, like that's not going to happen in a normal house. You know what I mean? It's just not. I say normal. Do you know what I mean? A non-new build. For example, I'm the first person in this house. This house was built. I reserved this house when it was a, it was a pile of soil. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I don't really know what value a video like that would be. Feel free to let me know in the comments or if you just want to hear about just generally how it was for me because I know I didn't really say too much at the time. But yeah, let me know if it's something you really want to see and I'm, I'm sure I can have like a quick chat about it on my second channel. Speaking of which, no one has asked me, I don't think. But second channel, it'll be up and running soon. I'm sure we can do something. It's just more things to talk about really that you need when you do these types of videos, I suppose. So we could do some skincare and a bit of chatting. Obviously, I'd probably do different topics than what I would do on this channel for this video, for example. I know I talk about life stuff on this, but we'll find something to talk about on the other channel as well, just so you're not listening to the same things all the time. Otherwise, what's the point, really? Um, but yeah, we can absolutely do that. This this is contorted. You'll not be able to tell at all, but I can. And this is, this is strong plastic, by the way. I've managed to completely contort it. Oh, you know what it is? I'm sick to death of having dirt in my nails. Between horses and plants, I was just destined to have dirt under my nails. Do you know what I mean? Just destined. I've gone from being a programmer who, quite frankly, had the best nails all the time. Like, they were, they were good. I had to keep them short because I couldn't type. But I don't even paint them anymore. It's not that I wouldn't. Honestly, it's not that I wouldn't. I would love to at some point. It's just, it just don't seem to last, you know what I mean? It don't seem to last. They chip very quickly, very quickly. All I have to do is be up the yard for like 20 minutes, do a couple of things, bosh, done. So, yeah. If I was going out and stuff, obviously I'd paint them and try and shape them up. And they, they look okay. I mean, you probably can't see them. They look okay shape-wise, I guess. My cuticles have just gone to shit. They've gone to shit. What cuticles? They look like... That's the weirdest analogy I've ever thought of. But they look like ocean waves when they come in on sand. Like there's weird lines and stuff. Anyone understand what I mean? Maybe not. But yeah, I need to be able to do stuff like that. But I'm all for it. I'm nearly ready to do videos on the second channel. You might see streaming before you see that, actually. Just because I need to just get that sorted out. Because I think streaming is more something I would do to relax. And I'll probably end up just doing that more. Um, but we'll see. The kitty cat video, I know, I know I've left the subject of kitty cats, but the kitty cat video, I think I'm going to do it on this channel because a lot of people have expressed an interest. So if that's not something you enjoy, again, I do apologize, but it's happening. Right, so I, I mean, it needs dusting this, you know, it's already ever so slightly dusty. Not just off me, I can see it's, it's genuinely off where they've been as well, but it, it could do have been dusted a bit. I didn't want to put this on a dirty surface because it's going to pick all the soil up 
and then it's going to splat it everywhere. So, yeah. I am not the happiest with how this has turned out. You feel me? Because... <laughs> it's just wobbly. I didn't know it was going to be that much of a squeeze to get them in. And I absolutely do not advocate for pushing your plants in quite like that. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's a bit much. But we've done it now. We've done it now. That's the repercussions. I'm going to have to tidy this up because I have to film again after this. I don't know if I'm going to film in here. I might film elsewhere. Um, it's kind of weird filming in this house because I don't know where a camera can be pointed and where it looks all right and where it doesn't. It's kind of weird. So we'll just see. But I will tidy this up. Although I think if I ever do a reporting video on the house, this is where it's going to be. Either that or I'm doing it outside. One or two. More than likely in here. So we'll just see. If I can get back to pawn, this would be a lot better, I think. I'm already not loving soil. But these plants are too new. We'll keep them as they are. Plus, I think pond could be a little bit dry for this house because this house isn't as humid as maybe what I would like. So, although I said 50% was good, it could be better if you know what I mean. So we'll just see. But that's them anyway. These two little darlings have been planted. Hopefully they survive the trauma. There are some roots here and there that I've killed. Is what it is. But that is it for this little repot. You would have got this on Friday. I just had a hell of a day. I still wasn't feeling it. I was kind of pushing myself to work when I shouldn't have. So that's why you're getting it now. It's a bit, it's call it an extra, but it's not an extra, if you feel me. And you will get your other video on Friday that I'm going to film after this. And I think I will move because this is taking the piss. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's all right. It's different, I guess. And if you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that I make stuff that you like. And if you are not already part of the family, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button. You can also join my channel as well, which I do believe in under this video near my name, there should be a button called join. Have a look for that if you're interested. A little pop-up will come up and it will tell you about what it means to be a member of my channel. It will break down the different options and all the rest and you can see if it's something that you would enjoy until then that's it for this i was gonna say this, that's it for this week's video it's not that's it for just this random video and i will see you in the next one bye